Hello, and welcome to the Bishop State Faculty Training Video Series. Today we will show you how to use the Conferences feature in Canvas. So if we'll go, if we'll go ahead and log into your Canvas account, and uh, you want to look for Conferences, you want to make sure that this is enabled, um, as you know, these eyes with the line mean that they're disabled to your students. So you want to make sure that this is enabled and to do this you will go into set settings and navigation and then of course make sure conference is enabled. So to start a conference click on conferences and um, you should see um, the conference uh, information where it says conference is a free service provided by or powered by a big blue button. Um, so when you're ready to create a conference, you'll do Add Conference. From here, you can give it a name, uh, whatever it is that you want to name that conference. And um, you can set your time. If you want it to be recorded, you can check that. Or if you want no time limit, you can click that as well. Um, you can add a description. And then, of course, it would automatically, by default, is checked to invite all course members um, and remove all course observers. Uh, only applies to K-12. We don't have observers in the at Bishop State. So go ahead and do update. Now you have your class meeting conference set. So now that it's set, ready to go, you as an instructor will click start. Uh, and that will start your conferencing. Now, for your students, when they, uh, once you do start, your students will get a notification um, through their Canvas app as well as through their Bishop State email that you have started a new conference. And they will go to conferences, and then this would say join as opposed to start. So let me go ahead and click start so you can see what it looks like. More than likely, it's going to pop up in a new window. Um, it's going to ask, uh, would you like to join um, using your microphone or listen-only mode? You also will have the option to use your phone if you do not have a microphone on your computer. Uh, once it is going uh, or started, you'll see this welcome to big blue button here. Um, and uh, in essence, you know, of course, you can share your webcam. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, start mine just so you can see how it goes we're going to allow and of course you can see me we're going to start sharing and there we are and you also have the option of sharing your screen so if you click the uh, share your screen button it's going to show in my case i have three monitors but for most of you all um you're only going to have one uh, monitor and of course um, you would just have one screen to share you would select that screen and share and then in essence you will see it your now when you first share it with um, your browser up you'll want to minimize it and then there to show your screen and so your students in essence will see whatever you have up on your screen and once you have it set up to where you want to be then of course you can uh, uh, click start recording if you are designed to record this class uh, and that way students who did not log on to the live version of this course they can review this uh, at a later time um, and of course uh, once you do record once you start recording just save it into the big blue button cloud and so your students will go to conferences to view the conferences recording. So, in essence, that is how conferencing feature work. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to contact myself, Robert Mac Williams, at email or my phone number. And of course, check out the many numerous resources available at www.bishop.edu. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great Bishop State Day.